Breakfast is fun in hotels, though, isn't it? The hotel breakfast, because they have a buffet. It's a buffet system. Basically, you don't wait and order your food. You have access to all food, which is very difficult for humans, because when you see it cooked, you want all of it. You know, when you look at the menu, I'll just have eggs. When you see everything, you're like, I, I want eggs and croissant and bacon and muesli. I've never, I don't eat muesli, but I want muesli and honey. I want bread, I want cheese, I want ham, I want ham. But you do get some exercise because when you come into the buffet, there'll be a person who meets you and then they walk with you past the buffet all the way to a seat. And as soon as you sat down, you remember it's a buffet. You get up immediately. <laughs> Go back to the buffet. It's a completely wasted journey. And one by one, people do this. They come in and they go, buffet. <laughs> Why don't you just let me loose at the buffet and I'll find a seat? <laughs> and sometimes people can't cope with the process. Couples will come in together. They'll sit them both down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then they sit for a bit. They sit and look before concluding. I think we should go to the buffet. And on they go. <laughs> and the buffet. But not everything's at the buffet. Tea and coffee is at the table. So sometimes you, they come round with tea and coffee, tea or coffee, and you, and you don't, don't, should I wait for him? Or, I, I want to go to the buffet. <laughs> Right, tea and coffee. There's the, come to me. Is he coming? I'm going to go to the buffet. Shit, he's coming. I want, I want tea. Oh, tea? No, sorry, it wasn't me. Tea, coffee. Sorry, coffee. I'm going back to the buffet. Where well, there's all the juice you want in life. I've never seen so much juice. In the tiniest contact lens case container. You, say, you look at juice, you're like, ah, I will feast on juice. I feast on juice. And then you want to drink it at the buffet, but you can't. You have to go all the way down. I'm gonna go back to the buffet, get more juice. <laughs> I've walked 17 miles, I haven't had a fucking croissant. <laughs> Sometimes when you're in a hotel, you have a, a wake-up call. That's an awkward conversation, isn't it? This is your wake-up call? What are you supposed to say? I am awake. <laughs> 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 this is your wake-up call. Your work is done. <laughs> <laughs> Once before it's with my wife, I got a wake-up call and, like, you know, sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you're a little bit more confident than you are. You know, there's a little bit of, you know, you're a bit weird, you're a bit confident, you're a bit cool, you feel quite cool. The first thing you haven't really settled into the day. So I got this wake-up call and this girl calls me a very sexy morning. She's like, this hello, it's your wake-up call, Mr. McIntyre. <laughs> I'm like, oh, good, well, uh, thank you. You're, I'm awake and I was wondering whether you'd like to join me for breakfast. Can you... <laughs> I couldn't even believe I was saying it. I thought, wow, I've gone for that. <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate, Mr. McIntyre. Is there anything else I can do for you? <laughs> I said, yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Can I get a wake-up call for 802? So a minute later, she phoned me back. <laughs> she said, hello, sir, this is your wake-up call. And I like, thank you. Well, yes, I'm, I'm well and truly awake now. <laughs> Have you um, had a chance to think about my offer? <laughs> Oh, breakfast. I mean, you know, we could go together. It's included in the room. I think it was you who told me that when I checked in. <laughs> so I, I don't think that's appropriate, sir, but is there anything else I can do for you? I said, yes, I'll take a wake-up call for 8.06. So a minute later, she phones me back. She says, your wake-up call, sir. I'm like, coffee, why don't we just meet for coffee in the lobby? <laughs> Have a chat, get to know each other. She says, you know what? You're starting to harass me. I said, well, you keep phoning me. <laughs> it's not going to stand up in court, darling. I had literally the most probably embarrassing experience I've ever had the other day when I was checking into this hotel. This woman on reception, quite, quite cute, quite, very cute actually, sort of eyelashes, seemed to be flirting with me. It's quite weird. And I came in and said, like, Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. She had an accent. I don't know where she was from. She was from somewhere else. Hello. I came in with all my bags. She's like, Hello, are you checking in? It's always an odd question, isn't it, when you walk into a hotel for the first time with all your bags? No, I'm pole vaulting. Is this wrong? Is this... <laughs> <laughs> can I take your name, please? Can I take your name? So, yes, it's, it's McIntyre. McIntyre. It's uh, Michael. Michael? Yes, Michael. Michael McIntyre. Okay. <laughs> You're with us for just the one night? So, yes, just, just one night. I'm just with you for one night. Not with you. You know, you understand. I'm, I'm in the hotel. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. <laughs> Would like newspaper in the morning? Would you like newspaper? So, no, I'm fine, thank you. I'll be, I'll be fine. No, I'll be fine without, thank you. Would like wake up call? Would like wake up call? No, don't phone me. I'll be fine, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Then she asked me, which I suppose is a normal question, because it was just me for the one night, how many keys I wanted for the room. And she went, do you want wanky? <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what did you say? Do you want wanky? <laughs> Do I want wanky? <laughs> yes, I can give you wanky if you want. <laughs> Is that included in the wake up call? Because I might actually go for that. <laughs> Not that they actually give you a key anyway. I mean, keys work just fine. We all have keys. We'll go home tonight. We'll use a key to get into our home. But in all these hotels, they give you these like key cards, these sort of pieces of plastic that work like 50% of the time. You go all the way to the room, it goes from red to red, red to red, red to red. Sometimes it's my whole stay just there because I don't want to go back to reception. Red, 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 red. Sometimes it goes green and then you get your bags. Then it's gone red again. Just let me in! <laughs> Anyways, come and have a little peruse. My new home. What's it going to be like? You know, walk around. Certain aspects of hotel rooms greatly depress me. Tea and coffee making facilities. That's a bit of a low point, isn't it? Sort of try you know, tea and coffee making facilities. With your mini kettle. It's one, of, it's one of the very boring moments in life when you have to take your mini kettle into the bathroom. You, you should never <laughs> fill a kettle in a bathroom. You take it in there. You put it under the tap, right? Fill it up entirely with water. Then to get it out, you have to empty all the water. <laughs> and take the kettle out. We fill up the whole kettle, empty the entire kettle, take kettle out. I'll go through that for like half an hour. Then I have to turn to the bath. It's a very depressing situation. And those mini milks, what is it with those little UHT milks? And it's like a magic trick. It doesn't matter how many UHT milks you put into a coffee, it will never change colour. You can see the white fluid landing in the coffee and then just disappearing. What's happened? I've just used 13 mini milks, I've still got a black coffee. The liquid isn't even rising. How is that even possible? But the biscuit is really rather thrilling because it's free. I eat the biscuit as soon as I see it. I don't know why I get so attracted to a free biscuit. Shortbread. I don't even eat shortbread at home. If I walk into a hotel and there's shortbread, yummy <laughs> <laughs> shortbread. Just drop the wrapper. I'm not at home now. Yeah. It's the opening drawers at random, empty. And I check them all. There's never anything in them. Empty, 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 empty. Oh, there's a Bible next to the bed, so you can pray for an upgrade. Thanks for your help. Oh, and can I just ask, while I have you all here, who at home, on their beds, by way of applause, has a duvet? Duvet people, reveal yourselves. <laughs> duvet people! This is much what I expected. Who doesn't have a duvet? One person, OK? <laughs> so what I want to know is why literally in every hotel room I stay in, Am I strapped into sheets? <laughs> Sometimes with like a brown blanket on the top. <laughs> Not a World War II evacuee. Give me a duvet like everybody else has. <laughs> and they make the bed so tight that when you get in it, you're sort of trapped in it. <laughs> come on, come on, move. Help me! There are people outside the door going, as soon as we get in, Mr. McIntyre, we will come to your aid. Just sit tight. <laughs> Have you had enough to eat? I had the shortbread. I'm praying on the Bible. Save me, God, from these shit sheets! <laughs> and the things they think you need in hotels. Oh, my God. Sewing kits. Sewing kits. Are they kidding? Who is sewing in hotel rooms? What do they think we're doing? Who, what kind of people are they expecting to book? I booked a nice hotel for us this weekend. Gonna catch up on our tailoring, I thought. <laughs> Maybe do some Bible studies, have some black coffee, sleep on the outside of the sheets. It's party night. Are you kidding? <laughs> If you've forgotten your toothpaste in a hotel, they give you enough toothpaste for one tooth. Thanks for your generosity, that's happening. <laughs> and the bathroom, oh my God, that's unbelievable. The more expensive hotel you stay in, literally, there will be lotions and potions and bottles for things you didn't even know existed. Bottles everywhere. The cheaper the hotel, there will be like one bottle that claims to be everything. Oh, <laughs> the shampoo, conditioning, body wash, shaving cream, toothpaste milk. <laughs> Milk? I might try that in my coffee. You never know. <laughs> and inappropriately sized towels. These drive me crazy. You come out of the shower and there's like 15 towels. They get smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> towels that don't go round the human body. What is the point of a towel that won't go round a human being? Sometimes I have to just use the mat. At least this fits. <laughs> People tend to go for side open. That tends to be the internationally recognised solution for the short towel. Sort of leave that open. And you come out complaining to my wife, look at these towels. They don't even go the whole way around. They... It's very rare to go front open. Can you believe this? They don't even go the whole way around. Just hurry up, we're late anyway. Once I got the sewing kit and I sewed up all the towels to make a huge towel. Yes. Look at me in my huge towel. 
lying on the outside of my sheets in my enormous newly sewed towel. Redoing Genesis, drinking black coffee. Phoning reception, I think I'm ready for that wanky now, if you want to say something. You want to stay in a nice hotel, you want, to, you want a posh hotel, that's what everybody wants from a hotel, you don't want to mess around. You want to get into a hotel that has marble and jewels for sale in lobbies, this is when you know your life's going well. A turning down service, this is something that people expect when they make a certain amount of money. Turning down service, I'd never heard of this until recently. Rich people require poor people to come into their rooms and peel the bed open a little bit before bed, peel it open just a little bit, just a corner so you can hook in and pop a chockey on the pillow, otherwise they can't get in. They don't know what to do. <laughs> they need to hook in, follow chockey, I'm in! <laughs> hook, follow chockey, I'm in! <laughs> if the maid doesn't come, they just flap, I don't know what to do! There's no chockey, there's no hook, I'll never sleep! <laughs> I'd never heard of this, there was a knock on my door, there's a woman standing there, she says, hello, sir, I've come to turn down your bed. I'm like, well, many women have in the past, why should you be any different? <laughs> You're going door to door now to reject me sexually? How depressing has my life become? 